money. And they're going to get judgment in these last days. question. Do you, do you think that police officers harbor, like, crime? Do you think there's a possibility that police officers harbor crime? That they harbor crime? Yeah. That, meaning they're part of the crime? And, yeah. Well, yeah, that's an interesting question. I believe they benefit off of that. You know what? A lot of police officers, we talk to police officers, and they tell you they self, a lot of times they boost up the crime status. Yeah. So that they get more money funded exactly. in their precincts. Yep, 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 you see what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah, they do that. Uh, trust uh, me, trust me. I, I myself, I myself have experienced police brutality and unfair judgment. You know what I mean? And, and I can tell you right off the back that something, something was wrong, you know? Yeah, well, you see the whole police, a lot of these guys are alcoholics, man. A lot of these so-called cops are alcoholics. Okay, their marriage is messed up. And what, what, what makes them feel like a man is that gun. That exactly. batch. Exactly. They household is all messed up a lot of times. They depressed. You know that the police department in New York City got the highest suicide rate wow. in America? Yeah. So they, they, you know, they confused and messed up. But yeah, they benefit off of crime. They get funding. Everything, when you look at everything, it's about funding. You got the right ideals, man. You got the right ideals. You're right. Why? Yep. We're dealing right. with the body. Woe to him that builded a town with blood. Woe to him that built a town with blood. Come on. And establish a city by iniquity. And establish a city by iniquity. Nobody can deny how America was built. You cannot deny how America was built. It was built on bloodshed. It was built on rape, rob, and murder. Right. That's a fact. So this Bible ain't lying. You can't take the but you can't take it out of the history. Because God has remembered it. You said you got a precept? Yeah, read. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 35 and verse 33. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood is the of the land. Blood defiled the land, man. This is a bloody city, man. Blood defiled this land, man. This land was based on bloodshed, man. Murder, corruption, that's how America was established. Murder and corruption. That's right. And you can't you can't get around it. So there has to be an end to it. Okay? You can't get around it. Whether you are aunt your mom, a black woman that's walking with the white man, then in the end, your time will pay, man. You ain't gonna get around it. It was established on blood and bloodshed. Read. And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed herein. It's not. It will not be cleansed with blood that is shed. You see what I'm saying? So this is crazy, man. The so-called blacks and Hispanics, man, have been abused for hundreds and hundreds of years. And here you got Biden that comes in here and passes a law. Okay. That's right. And here come, yeah, blame it, yeah, blame it on the dope head. Blame it on the dope head white guy. The heroin. Not blame it on the alcohol or the goose. Blame it on the dope head white guy. That's what, you know, that's what happened to, to, to a lot of you. A lot of you was dope heads now, man. And that's a judgment from God, man. The heroin epidemic is killing them, man. Okay? The heroin epidemic is wiping them out. But the evil thing about that is they send billions of dollars to the heroin, the community of the white community. They send billions of dollars to West Virginia for the opium crisis. And they didn't give a dime to the blacks from the crack epidemic. Is that not a slap in the face, man? All the family members, man, that died. A lot of brothers and sisters got family members that died over crack. Okay, yeah. And we have not recovered from that crack. We have not recovered. Yeah, it's still resurfacing. Okay, it's still resurfacing. That, that crack, that crack, you know, that crack destroyed us, man. I gotta tell brothers about it. I remember them days, man. I remember them, them days when it was high. Public enemy came out with base. How low can you go? <laughs> Crack epidemic was at the, low, the highest rate, man. MC Light said, you better get a $5 crackhead. 
Guns. But it was, it was at a high level, man. You see what I'm saying? And it destroyed our community. Read on, brother. But by the blood of him that shed it. By the blood of him that shed it, man. Zechariah at um, 8, man. It's going to be a new day, though. Right. It's going to be a righteous day. We ain't going to have to worry about the little kids, man. Little kid play in the city and all of that. The Lord's going to stop that, man. Little kid going out to, to get some grocery and some thump going to run over him and grab him. Grab them. And then the other thug, no regard for the kid. No regard, gonna walk behind and still start shooting the kid. Shooting. At a little at eight, nine years old. Them days is gonna come to an end, man. It's right. sad, man. But the Bible tells you them days is gonna come to an end. We're gonna read about it. Read. Zechariah chapter 8, verse 1. Yeah. Verse 2. Verse 2, thus saith the Lord of hosts, I was jealous over Zion. Paul was jealous. The Lord was furious. He was jealous. He was angry over the children of Israel. Come on. With great jealousy. Great jealousy. The Lord said with great jealousy because why? We went and worshiped other gods. We didn't give the Lord his due respect. We went and worshiped these other gods. The Lord said he was great and angry with us. Come on. Great. And I was jealous for her with great fury. With great fury. We didn't even put the white man up as a god before us. That's why the pissy black woman is chasing them down the street. Right. We even put her up as him as a god. They was jealous, so the Lord got angry. Come on. Thus said the Lord, I am returned unto Zion. He's called return unto Zion. The Zion he's talking about. Is he talking about Zion Williams? Right. Talk about the Zion Williams, Republicans. He's talking about the Zion of Israel, man. Oh. That's, right. That's how he's going to do. Come on. And will dwell in the midst of Jerusalem. We'll dwell in the midst of Jerusalem. Where we at? Come on. And Jerusalem shall be called a city of truth. Jerusalem is going to be called the city of truth. All this wickedness is going to come out. Read. And the mountain of the Lord of hosts. The holy mountain. The mountain of the Lord of hosts, the holy mountain, which is the children of Israel, man. The so-called blacks and Hispanics. That's right. Which is why you, you so-called phony Jews, you spend billions and billions of dollars to keep this a secret and make it seem like you're the children of Israel. You even lie so much, you start believing your own lie. Right. But that ain't gonna happen. The real children of Israel is gonna return to the Lord. And you know it. Your rabbis know this history. Okay, yes. Yeah, 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 we're bringing that out. Yeah, you're bringing that out, man. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah, and the brother, there's a brother, man, the brother from Texas, man. This, this brother, man, he's, he's a real trooper, man. He went at the Asians, man. And he said that's up China Mac. China Mac. Yes. Who the hell is China Mac? And Johnny Dan, I don't give a damn about them China Mac. China Mac is this rapper, this Asian rapper, that he did he did like 10 joints up north. So he think he's supposed to be running up on people. I don't give a damn about no China Mac. Right. He said it the same thing. The brother said, I'm nigga. He said, I ain't African American. <laughs> he said, I'm nigga. <laughs> and we, we've been killing the Texans. That nigga, you look at my history, and we've been killing a white man in Texas for years. Wow. I'm official, nigga. <laughs> you know what I mean? Said, I don't give a damn about no China Mac. China Mac is scared of a nigga. China Mac. Because, like I said, China Mac been up north for like 10 years. But he's supposed to have a name. So, he's running down on the Yo, what you say about agents? What you say about agents, son? You know what I mean? Come oh. on, man. Get out of here. We don't care about no damn China Mac, man. <laughs> The hell with China, man. And he told them, you know what I mean? He told them, listen, man, they're going to get done. They're going to get dealt with, man. Okay? Biden can't save them. If they touch our people, they're going to be dealt with. Right. And he told you that. It's going to be war on that. Who made them rich, man? We made them rich. We in their store. We in their nail salons. Our women is getting their nails and their feet massaged. Giving them all our money. And they don't have no respect for us. 
but we're going to tell them like it is, man. And we're going to deal with them, and how we going to deal with them. Okay, Ray. Chapter 8, verse 4. Zechariah chapter 8, verse 4. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, there shall be, there shall yet old man and old woman dwell in the street. That the old man and the old woman gonna dwell in the street. The old people don't even respect the old man. They won't even give the old lady a seat in the bus. They won't even, they won't even give the old man, especially the old man. They treat the old man worse than the old lady. Because it's always that male thing. See, it's deep, man. It's always about the man. You got a, a, a lot of our, a lot of our, our, our young men. They didn't have no fathers in the household, and, and that 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 brings a, a self hatred to towards men in general. So they don't have no respect for the old men, the old Negro men, and then the kids. So they treat the old man even worse. Sometimes they give an old lady respect, but the old Negro man, they they treat him like nothing. Man. So the Lord tells you, read on. And every man with his staff in his hand from that very age. Every man with his staff. We ain't gonna die of heart attacks. We ain't gonna die of diabetes. High blood pressure. And all these things. Now the men is among the, the dudes. 50, 50 and 60, man. A lot of dudes ain't making it out of 50 and 60, man. A lot of dudes, I just had a call from, from one of my mans. Come up town, man. We got a memorial for this brother. How old was the brother? 56? They ain't making it out of 56, 57, 59, man. But the law says they gonna what? The old men is gonna live. The old women gonna live to great age. Read on. And the street of the city shall be full with boys and girls. And the what? And the streets of the city shall be full with boys and girls. The, the, the little kids can play, man. Not have to worry about some damn gangbanger shooting. They're going to be able to play in the streets. This is what we're looking for. This is not the greatest it can be. America is not the best. America is the worst. You got a couple of Negroes because they, 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 can, get, they can have some money and get some white women or whatever they want. They think that America is the best. They'd rather die for America. They don't know the history, man. Who built this stupid city, man? We built it, that's right. That's right, Joe Bob. You don't like that? We built that stupid city. Crackers right. gonna look at me a funny way. We built America, man. You didn't build a damn thing, man. Okay? You didn't build a goddamn thing. We built America, and we built the inventions. A lot of these inventions, you ain't even give us credit for. Like the light bulb and a lot of stuff. And we created the traffic light. You write that out of the history books. And you wonder why the children don't want to go to school. Because you don't teach them nothing about themselves. You lie on history. You lie on the Moors. You know that the Moors control Europe for years. They did all type of stuff. Taught you mathematics. Taught you science. Taught you chess. And you hide this information. Because you don't want us to be great. Okay, read. And the streets of the city shall be filled with boys and girls playing in the streets thereof. Thus say the Lord of hosts, if it be marvelous in the eyes of the remnant of his people in these days, marvelous to see that. Should it also be marvelous in mine eyes, say the Lord of hosts, thus say the Lord of hosts, behold, I will save my people from the East Country. The Lord's gonna save his people from the East and all over. And from the West Country. From the West Country. And I will bring them that shall dwell in the midst of Jerusalem. And they shall be people. And I will be their God in truth and righteousness. He's gonna be their God in truth and righteousness. That day is gonna happen. You got the nerve to talk about mathematics. You got the third protection for our children. Failures. In school. You ain't teaching our children nothing. What? We the creators of mathematics. We the creators of science. So how the hell is our children failing in the school? 
when we created them, when we taught you mathematics. Because you ain't teaching our people nothing. They don't have no desire. And then their household is so messed up. They're coming from foster care. They're coming from abused household. Right. And you sip all this candy in there. Make them hyperactive. That's what you do. You understand? Amen. We created yeah. mathematics. But see, you Negroes, man, you Negroes, you don't know no history. A lot of you Negroes don't know no goddamn history, man. Okay, you believe the lies the white man told you. America. America's the best we ever had. I don't want to go back to Africa. We were swinging from trees. You run around naked, chasing giraffes. Right. White men feed us, brother. You think I want to go back to Africa? But they were chasing giraffes, hunting my meal. See, that's how you think. And you'll be surprised how many Negroes think that and don't understand history. Don't understand how we created everything. Even when we was in Africa, man. Look up to uh, Babylon Timbuktu. We got it right here somewhere. Or the brother might have took it. Look at the history of Babylon Timbuktu. The science, the mathematics. This man ain't created the damn thing. Everybody summoned up. Matter of fact, out on this paper. A good man. This is a good work. No white man is no good man. Right. You'll never be a good man. That's crazy. Okay? Give me Jeremiah 15 and 11. The Lord made the white man into a man that does things for you. And a lot of times, the white man is doing things out of his guilt. Just like John Brown. John Brown knew that his people was in trouble. He found out that them slaves that they had, he found out that those were the Hebrews, man. And that God was going to punish him. So he went all out. Because of the guilt, what he's done, he do. And look, we gotta free these damn slaves, cause we gonna be in trouble. Thomas Jefferson said with his own mouth, man. He said, man, if there's a God in heaven, my people gonna pay one day. Right. That's written documentary that Thomas Jefferson said that. He said, if there's a God in heaven, we are gonna pay one day. Oh. And that's a fact, man. And you could you could you could search that out and take that up and see that. That's written in the in, in Congress. Because they knew, man. They knew that they was in trouble, man. They knew that listen, every get every dog has his day. And they know that. Every dog has his day. So now you're looking at the downfall. And the reason why this place is being punished so much is what they did to the blacks and the Spanish. And we can prove that. You don't know nothing. We can prove that why America is suffering with all the plague is what they did to the blacks and the Spanish. Give me that in Zechariah 2 and 8. Okay, This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 15, verse 11. The Lord said, Very it shall be with, well, with my, thy remnant. Very I will cause the enemy to entreat thee well in the time of evil and in the time of affliction. The Lord says what? Daddy, I will cause the enemy. He will cause the enemy. Stop. He will cause the enemy. To do what? To entreat thee well. You know, a lot of times when a white man do it, it's God, give the credit to God. Give the credit to God in Christ. Right. And he said, a lot of brothers, said, you know what I mean? So, well, uh, I call them the soft rule. The soft rules, man. You know what I mean? They always stick it up. No one's were like, oh well, when I was starving. And no one's were like, the white man fed me. <laughs> soft rules. <rules. laughs> Giving the credit to them. They fed me, brother. Where well, was you, brother? When I was starving. It was that white man, that red white man. They fed me. No. Nah. What the scriptures say that you got the other crazy brothers that said he fed you because he was an Israelite, brother. Right, 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 right. <laughs> right. It's actually I'm going bad, man. Crazy this. You got the other brothers. He would have fed you. He knew he was an Israelite. If he was an Israelite, that's why he fed you. So the Lord says, look, you can put the spirit on anybody. You feel good. Read it again. 
The Lord said, Verily it shall be well with thy remnant. Verily I will cause the enemy to entreat thee well. The Lord said he was going to cause the enemy. He said he will cause the enemy to do what? Entreat thee well. Entreat thee well, come on. In the time of evil. You know what? In the time of evil. In the time of evil. The Lord says he was going to cause the enemy to treat thee well in the time of evil. So I don't look at I look at the, the Lord doing that. And I get a blessing, I know that's from the Lord. Right. I don't look and give credit to the white man. Because I know he's getting the Lord put that spirit on that white man to do that. Okay? Give me that, uh, give me second edge. This is second edge. Chapter 15. It's lucky. Second edge, 15 and verse 56. Like as thou has done unto my chosen. How you have done to his chosen. How have you done to God's chosen? You beat them, you killed them, right. you lynched them, 100 years of lynching, you threw them over the sea, right. for gators, for alligators to eat them. That's how you did with the Lord's chosen. So the Lord says, like if you've done to his chosen, come on, like it's done, has done unto my chosen. Say the Lord, even so shall God do unto thee. Even so shall God do unto thee. So I don't care if Texas tried to write out slavery out of the history books. God got it already. God got it in his records. And he gonna do it to you like you done to us. He gonna do it to you like you done to us, man. Read on. And shall deliver thee into mischief. And shall do what? Deliver thee into mischief. Deliver you into mischief. That's why all things is happening to you now. That's why you all messed up now. And you niggas that don't want to get with the most high and get with Yahweh Shah, you're gonna be messed up just with just along with this devil, man. We've been warning you for years. Come out of all my people. And your time is coming. Read. My children shall die of hunger. What? My children shall die of hunger. There's a lot of poverty gonna get down, man. You think it's over? It ain't over. Poverty is coming. It's gonna be chaos. They think it's over. They think they didn't have to pay rent. They think the COVID got them away from paying rent. Wait till when the man says the COVID is over. And that landlord starts banging that door again. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> Where my rent at? <laughs> you, know I mean? you owe me six, seven goddamn months. That's what's going to be going down. <laughs> we get nothing. You know what I mean? It's going to be trouble, man. And now they got it. The white man got it so wickedly, man, that you can't even get an apartment. Unless you got a high credit score. Okay. Okay. You got to have a high credit score and you got to have a certain amount of money in the bank. For you to even get an apartment. For you to even be considered. It's how this devil doing it. But they play with the damn credit scores. When it comes to that. They can get loans. They can go to the bank. Okay. They can mess with their credit score. Like, like for example, look at Trump. That man did so much things. He, he, he's supposed to be locked up. Okay? He's supposed to be locked up. Because what? He put up his credit score so that he could get a loan. And get a lot of loans out of the bank. They got that recorded. The man boosted up his credit score so that he could get billions and billions of dollars. He's supposed to be locked up just on that. Because if that was a black man that did that, he would be locked up instantly. Right for that fraud. But that's what they do. So now they they making it hard for the damn black men and black women. You know what I mean? They they, they you know they, they they go by your credit score. You know what I mean? They can just say nah you don't got the credit score. Then it depends on what place you go. Go from the, the, the furnished rooms, those are hard now. Even they checking your credit score. Okay? But now if you try to go into a condo or co-op, you know what brother? They can just deny you. The board can just deny you. 
and don't give you a reason. Yeah, they can do that. Okay, so this is the thing that's going on. So there ain't no future in America, man. We need to see this place go down and we need to see it go down fast. The children shall die of hunger. Children are gonna die of hunger, come on. And thou shalt fall through the sword. Thou are gonna fall through the sword, man. It's gonna be massive killing, man. Massive killing. And another thing, brother, check it out, man. You got millions and millions of people that are still on unemployment. As of September 6th, first of all, June, June 10th, 22 states, they cut unemployment off of 22 states down south, the Republican states. So they cut them off. South Carolina, a lot of those places got cut off, right? So you're going to see chaos, okay? A lot of those people that got cut off uh, in the Republican states, they're going to be they gonna be robbing. And they may be coming up here to rob. <laughs> yes, <laughs> they're going to be searching. Now, I'll see you one second, brother. Now, as of September 6th, when all those millions and millions of people come off of unemployment, they still don't got enough jobs to, to hold those people. They ain't got enough jobs to get them people back working. So the city gonna be chaotic. The country, not the city, the country gonna be chaotic. Yeah, but that's like 1400 don't spend that 1400 in a week 1400 that thing would be gone in a, in a damn week man that 14 that that that, that ain't that ain't gonna save you 1400 can't save you man every every three months he throws 1400 at you what that gonna do that's gone in a week man that ain't saving the economy okay so it's gonna be chaos man read on and thou shalt fall through the sword Thy cities shall be broken down. What's going to happen to the cities? Thy cities shall be broken down. Thy cities shall be broken down, man. Okay? A lot of these women, a lot of these men that's running out here, they ain't going to know what's going to hit them, man. This judge, look at this, man. This, this is just dealing with chaos, man. It's, uh, what, what, what you did, Sabak? You brought this madness with you, man? <laughs> you came to the city, man, and, and, and the demons just... <laughs> it just got lost, man. It went up another level, man. Good. Two, three levels. Good. Into the red zone, man. You know what I mean? This city is just mad. And you go to 125th, it's even madder, man. Good. Oh, it's crazy. Come on. And all life shall perish. And what? And all life shall, shall perish. All life shall perish, man. It's not of the law. It's not with the most side. Read on. With the sword in the field, the sword in the field to the they that be in the mountains shall die. They that be in the mountains, man. When you check it out, man, 2020 had a report. And it had what they call the children of the mountains. The people that was living in the mountains. It was all like white kids way back, about 20 years ago. It was all a bunch of white kids. And their teeth was all jacked up from Mountain Dew. It was all messed up, and they was living in the mountains. They called them the children of the mountains. Okay? The children of the mountains. The Bible said, And they that be in the mountains, they that be in the mountains, come on, shall die of hunger. Die of hunger, man. So what's happening? You got areas in West Virginia. You got a lot of areas down south, man, where they dying, man. That poor crackers don't even got shoes, man. They don't even got damn shoes, man. Okay? Read. And eat their own flesh. They gonna what? Eat their own flesh. They gonna eat their own flesh, come on. And drink their own blood. They gonna drink their own blood, man. The Lord gonna put a serious curse on this place, man. Read. For very hunger of bread. What? For very hunger, bread. The starvation gonna be all over this place, man. Not just in the mountains, but all over America, man. That's famine talking about all over America. Okay? All over America, read. And thirst of water. What? And thirst of water. 
There's a war and that's what's coming to America. Come on. Well, as unhappy shall come through the sea and receive plagues again. What? And receive plagues again. Receive plagues again. You're going to receive the more plagues. Come on. And in the passing, they shall watch on the idle city and shall destroy some portion of the land and consume part of thy glory. All this property is happening. All this property is happening. And it's going to happen again. What do you say it was back then? Then the time of Isaiah? Well, you say it was back in that time. The same prophecy is going to happen again. And the king of the south, during the time of the Greek Empire, and all of that, the same thing going to happen with Russia and Biden. They're going to fight against each other. They're going to turn against each other. So the most high brings back the same prophecies. Okay? From back then to now, the same thing happened. The way he destroyed Babylon, the way he destroyed these other cities, is the same way he's going to destroy America. Right. That's why we can keep reading this, man. We can keep reading it and relate it to this time. Read it. In the passage, Russia and the idol city, it shall destroy some portion of the land and consume part of thy glory. Consume and destroy portion of the land. And shall return to Babylon that was destroyed, and thou shalt be cast down by them as stubble, and they shall be unto thee as fire, and shall consume thee, and thy cities, thy land, and thy mountains, and all thy woods, and thy fruitful trees. That's the same thing gonna happen, man. The same thing the Lord is going to tell Babylon gonna be destroyed, man. Babylon the great, which is America, going to be destroyed. So what we're going to do, we're going to keep teaching this Bible, man, because right. death is coming to America, man. Right. God is going to destroy this wicked place. And ain't nobody can stop it. You can't stop it. You can't stop what God is going to do, man. Okay? You can't stop it, man. It's of the Lord. The Lord says he's going to declare an end to America. Because America is finished, man. We see that, man. It is it is doomed, man. Give me Isaiah 51 and 13, my last one. Isaiah 51 and 13. It is doomed. It is over, man. You know what I mean? It is over. Everybody drunk. Black man coming up here front with his mother. Okay. <laughs> man, what will it take? A hundred hours. You gonna put it in the bucket or you not? You know what I mean? What are you we supposed to yo? Suck for a job for a hundred dollars? Alright, brother, all right, wait, what you gotta say, brother? What you gotta say? Come on! <laughs> Come on, man. I was those men back in the day. Greedy man. Let the brother talk. Let him talk. <laughs> so that he can put that hundred dollar ticket. Let the man let let listen, Bill would have shut the whole kid down. The body go what I'm saying. Shut down, you bet shut down. Let the man say what he gotta say. <laughs> Just so they can get a hundred dollars, man. I was the greedy niggas back then, man. We ain't rolling like that, man. Turn. Now with his hundred dollars. Okay, Ray. This is the book of Isaiah, verse th chapter 51, verse 13. And forget us the Lord thy maker that had it stretched forth the heavens. Stretch forth the heavens. Many waters, come on. Abundant in treasures. Abundant, because America got all the treasures, got all the riches of the world. America got all the riches of the world. Come on. Right then, it's tough. Right, what? Right then, it's tough. America's going back to the war of the 20s. When everybody had money, everybody was living life. It's going back to the war of the 20s. Everybody gonna come back. What does it say? Right then. It's come. My end is come, sister. You better, you better put on a long ass dress. 
that I'm running around like that. Because the Bible said that end is come. Destruction is coming. Right. In the measure of thy covetousness, the Lord of hosts has sworn by himself, saying, Surely I will fill thee with men. The Lord says he swore by himself he's going to do this. And the Bible tells you in Numbers 23, he's a man that shall not lie. But he says he's going to do it. He's going to do it. He has sworn that he's going to take this place out, man. And we see it coming, man. We see it coming. I, you know, I'm not going into to what I think. But, you know, when it, if, it, if this place goes another 10 years, it's going to be out. Because the thing is happening, and it's happening fast. Bring it out. The chariots is being revealed, man. The chariots. So the chariots is being that's Bring it out. The chariots is being revealed, man. Give me Luke 12 and 2. We've been talking about the chariots all this time. We've been talking about the chariots. Give me one in there about the chariots. We've been talking about the chariots all this time. And now we see more papers. And now it's being revealed. But of course, it makes the Islam always want to take credit. Now it's being revealed on a high level. The chariots are being revealed. Luke 12 and 2. He used to call us crazy. They used to talk about we watch too many Star Trek episodes. They used to say we was bugged out. It ain't happening now. Now they're telling the truth, man. Right. You got your astronauts that's coming out and admitting about seeing chariots, man. Now the truth is being brought out. Because God says what? You're 12 and 2. And guess what? Them chariots, they're kicking the white man. They're after him, boy. It's always a white person talking about how they got abducted by a UFO. And it was beaten. You know why you was beaten? Because you're evil and you're wicked. And God is doing that to you. Read. This is the book of Luke, Luke 12, verse 2. There is nothing covered that shall not be revealed. All is covered that shall not be revealed. All as crazy as you want. Now the media is going to bring it out next month. And they ain't gonna hide it. They gonna bring it out next month about how these chariots have been plaguing your country for years and years and years. And guess what? You may think we crazy, but we don't give a damn. The Bible is that you talk about these are black men. Black men in these chariots. And you have seen them. Okay? All as crazy if you want. The United States government is about to reveal it. About the UFOs. Wait. Neither hid that shall not be known. Neither hid that shall not be known. The law says everything gonna be known. It ain't nothing gonna be hid. You can't hide it no more. God said, you can't hide it no more. It's coming out. Rain. Therefore, whatsoever ye have spoken in the darkness shall be heard in the light. What the Lord told us, man, speak this word. Speak this word strongly. Come on. And that which he has spoken in the airs in the closets shall be proclaimed upon the housetops. And I say unto you, my friends, be not afraid. So the Lord was telling you, be not afraid, man. Speak this word, man. Be strong and bold, man. They laughed at you. They choked at you. But the truth is going to come. Everybody in these last days is going to know who the true kings of the earth are. Right. Everybody is going to have to bow down to the true kings of the earth. What you got? It's the book of Zechariah. Chapter 5, verse 1. Then I turned and lifted up mine eyes. And look, and behold, a flying robe. Allah says a flying robe. We've been disputing in Israel. Some brothers don't believe that that's the chariots. But I believe it's the chariots, man. 
Because a lot of doctrines have been brought out. Come on. Verse 3. Then said he unto me, this is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. It's a curse. It's a curse to who? The wicked. It's going to tell you that, right? For everyone that steal it. For everyone that steal it. Who steals? Who's been stealing it from day one? So-called white man. Right. Shall be cut off. Shall be cut off. Come on. As on his son, according to it. And everyone that swear shall be cut off. As on his side, according to it. I swear to uphold and give this land back to the Native American Indians. You ain't give nothing to him. You ain't give nothing to him. And now the history is coming out. And a lot of the Native Americans was dark skinned. They don't bring that out. A lot of them was dark skinned. Bring it out. Okay. Yeah, you, you, yo, you had um different ones that, you know, like Gerard. But a lot of them, when you, when you check out the Cherokee and the Apache, that's why it's another statement. You go in Congress today where Andrew Jackson is talking about you told you told me to go fight Indians and all I'm fighting is niggas. That's documented right. in Congress. So a lot of that, that history that's been hid is gonna be brought out in these last days. All praises to the most high. Call me a shallow. Call me a shallow. What you think about that, Jet Lee? Right. Give me a shot. Give me a shot. Shalom. Give me a shot. Give me a shot.